Good morning, Wilson Sea Lions. I'm Landon Hunt. And I'm Gabriel Lugo. And we are your hosts for the Cape WES News Show. Today is Friday, December 1st, 2017, and it is day two on the rotation schedule. We have a lot to announce today, but before we get started, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. for the moment of silence. And now for some special announcements. Today we have no birthdays. Over the weekend we have Radwan Monsari, Oceana Haynes, and Molly Murray. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Please come down to the office to get your special birthday spirit stick. Today's lunch choices are spicy chicken on a bun, chicken enchiladas, or fish nuggets with cinnamon bread. And now on to weather with Wiley Kid. Hi, I'm Wiley Kid, and I'm here to report today's weather. Today's weather will be mostly sunny, with a high of 54 degrees and lows in the 30s. It's definitely getting cooler with cool winds and dropping temperatures. It's a good time to get your scarves, gloves, and winter hats out. This week will be mostly cloudy and cooler, and by cooler, I mean around 50 degrees. Sunday will offer occasional rain and drizzle. Still a great weekend for some flag football. Riding your bike or taking a long walk with your dog. Hope you enjoy the start of December's weather. That's a wrap. Okay, and you hoping for any snow this year? Yeah, I'm trying to have a snowy Christmas, you know? Oh. The camera's still on. Oh, Psst. anyone hoping for some snow this year? Hi, I'm Jayla Brooks. And Taya Common with This Week in Sports. In hometown sports news, let's start with the football. The Washington Redskins played the New Orleans Saints in the previous Sunday and sadly lost. This unfortunate loss has made it harder to make into the playoffs. Thankfully, the Redskins beat the New York Giants this past Thanksgiving, 20 to 10. So their chances are looking better. Hopefully they can beat the Cowboys last night. Well, let's talk about hockey now. Thankfully, the Washington Capitals beat the Minnesota Wild last Saturday with a score of 3-1. to one. They also beat the Toronto Maple Leafs by a score of 4-2. to two. It's a great time to be a Caps fan. Now on to our KWCES sports highlight. Our highlight this week goes to two students, Farah's in fourth grade and Antonio in third grade. They recently won their football championships, and now they are heading to the Nationals in Florida on December 12th. Wow, that's incredible. All the way to Florida? We love hearing all the great things happening outside of school. Keep it up, the great work. We are proud of you. Hi, I'm Ezekiel the cameraman. Hi, I'm Gabe. And we're here to tell you two jokes. Why can't those be 12 inches long? Why? Because there'll be a foot. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> who, is, who is the ranger at the rudest manners? Who? Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackson Gossett with the new weekly segment. This segment is called Hero Highlight. We are looking for heroes at our school that we can highlight each week. Hero stands for helpful, engaged, respectful, and organized. We know that there are lots of kids that show hero behavior every day. This week we are highlighting Christopher Capulka in fifth, Miss Hughes' fifth grade class. Christopher is a hero because he respects authority and does not interrupt the teacher during instructing time. Keep it up, Christopher. We are looking for more KWES heroes to highlight on our future news shows. Bye-bye. 
Hi, welcome to the DIY. We're going to make sock snowmen. In this project, you will need felt, a hot glue gun. Be careful with it. you got to have parental supervision. It's always important to be safe. Yeah. We have cotton balls and eyeballs, a stuffing, and scissors. So first, what you're going to want to do is take the stuffing. You're going to fluff it so it's not hard as a rock, like your pillows. And then you... Or just hers. It depends. Ha, 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 ha. And then you stuff it in there until you get the head to the desired size. I'm going to make mine extra big. Because that's what she likes to do. <laughs> um, while she's doing that, remember, anything you'd like to add to your snowman, like maybe... I don't know, a scarf. Here's you can take like scrap, scrap cloth and make cut it up to make a scarf for your snowman. Or you can use these googly eyes or pom poms to really customize him the way you like. And if you want to, you can add cheeks like I did. Like anyone will be familiar with it if you play Five Nights at Freddy's. He has those big puffy cheeks. <laughs> okay, now that you're done with the flattish head, <laughs> you you get it to the shape you want it. In my case, it kind of looks like a fluffy head, so whatever. It kind of looks lopsided, but <clears throat> whatever. Okay, now you take a rubber band, after you made it a little more circular, you take a small rubber band, be careful not to touch that hot glue glue. And um, you may also use string to tie it around if you don't have rubber bands. Yep, because rubber bands... They're kind of, kind of hard to find, and they're kind of evil. Yes, they are. Yes. Um, if you don't have stuffing, that's okay, because you can also use rice, or beans, or cotton balls, anything you really want. The tips of Q-tips. <laughs> that might be too difficult. You know, but... Anything, really. <laughs> okay, now that you're done with the head, it looks your... lopsided. What are you doing? <laughs> you take a little more stuffing, you fluff it so it doesn't bunch up and get hard, which it probably will. Uh, you stuff it in the body. It's taking a while. It takes me like nine hours to finish up fluffing though. Okay, you want to say something while I'm doing this? Sure, I'll say something. Um, <laughs> different ideas for your snowman. You like if you used rice or beans, he'd probably be a little floppy, so the string or the rubber band you use, you probably wouldn't see anyway. So that would keep you from having to make yeah, him a scarf. he's kind of floppy there. <laughs> okay, so now since you have this done, you can take your scissors and cut off the excess sock. This. Now, you have to get an adult and have them glue the bottom together for you. Remember, adult supervision. That's really important so you don't burn your finger and get a blister like me. Yes, she does it a lot. All right, how are we gonna glue this now? All right, so we're gonna use the hot glue gun. Okay. And we just glued it closed. Yeah, we so um, now it was she's going to, oh, don't burn yourself. I did it. <laughs> now, let's make some personalized things. If you kept your sock, you can use it to make some sort of hat. I don't know. Something like this. I don't know. Or you can use your scrap cloth to make scarves or hats like that. Um, really anything. So now, since you have your snowman almost done, you take whatever you would like for the eyes. In this case, we're just going to... Glue in some eyeballs. Some glue in some eyeballs. And the finished product should look like this. Something like this. He's pretty cute, I know. <laughs> How did yours turn out, Jackson? Mine turned out pretty well. I put this hat on it, and now all we need to do is super glue the hat on and super glue the bottom, and then put some eye glue, some eye glue, some eyeballs on it. I see his name is Haynes. <laughs> By the way, I hope you enjoyed this DIY segment. Oh, make and sure to make this at home. And always remember, clean up your mess. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi, I'm Sam from Miss Brooks Kindergarten class.
and I am going to do a book presentation. My book I like in this book presentation is Fly High, Fly Guy. I like Fly High, Fly Guy because Fly Guy flies high when he lays down on the ground. You can find this book in the library. Hello, Kaylin here with some special announcements this week. First of all, today we have a very special author visiting today. Laura Murray, the author of The Gingerbread Man and several other books, is here today. She'll be meeting with all the grade levels to tell all about how she writes books. We are so excited to see her. She will even sign your book if you pre-ordered a copy. Next week, we know many of you were surprised to see me pop out of the lost and found last week. <coughs> It was pretty easy to hide because there was so much stuff. Please make sure that you are checking out the lost and found and claiming your things. We know a lot of people that can certainly use it, especially this time of year. Lastly, the winter music concert by the Singing Sea Lions Choir and Strings students will be Monday, December 11th. That week will also start this year's holiday show. We will tell you more about it next week. Hi, I'm Olivia with What's New in STEAM. This week we're highlighting Ms. Ward's fourth grade class. They recently did a STEAM project that included the subjects of science, history, and math. Their objective was to design a landing pad for a pumpkin drop at three different height levels. Each group got a box of materials with different items. They had to act like the first settlers and barter ideas from each other to design their landing pad. They definitely had to work together to design a functional plan and engineer a project that would be successful. Let's take a look at a video and picture from the STEAM project to find out how they did. Classes, keep up the great STEAM projects and let us know so we can highlight you next. working together and successfully and successfully engineering a landing pad for your pumpkins. Yeah, Lynn. They did a great job. This weekend, the Singing Sea Lions will be performing in Hilton Arts Center. Don't forget, today the author, Laura Murray, will be visiting our school. Be sure to, to show your best hero behavior. We are looking forward to learning about how she created the gingerbread man and the get loose in school books. Well, that wraps up our new show today. Have a fabulous Friday. Shout out to Boy Bun.